We're back with more TKRC TV, and this is bracket number two pro mod action of the summer series 2024. This is bracket number six on the season for the pro mod trucks. Taking a look at qualifying highlights as we always do. A little bit of a mix up this time from the last bracket if you joined us, but Sudden Impact Jeremy Mark still a staple in the top three. Equalizer stealing the top spot though with the only sub nine second run. We'll have to see if he can back it up. Our first pair out is Goblin facing off with Zeus. As you can see, an inside, outside, outside track as Zeus loses it down the final straightaway and Goblin takes that victory. USA 1, Keith Vogt, and Gravedigger, Josh Rhodes. Watch the lights. Rhodes the number eight qualifier, while USA 1 with Vogt in the far lane, the 25, and then number eight will take the victory. Mr. Holmes Power, the number nine qualifier, and the number 24 Raminator from Cheech Agosh. Cheech back with us after a busy schedule driving the one-to-one -one scale Raminator. But today is not his day in Pro Mod as Raminator goes down to Mr. Holmes Power. Fallout 2, the number four qualifier, and newcomer Greg Coffey with the Gravedigger LMT. He's got a tough pairing as the number 29 qualifier facing that fourth qualifier. Hackinson off to a lead. Oh, Hackinson in trouble. There's an opportunity. Hackinson gets some freestyle points with the Fallout truck, but he also gets the win. Red Rocket, Watch Isaac line. Ankrum, and Purple Haze, Andy Salerno. It's a colorful battle. Who's going to win on green? Neck, and neck into the first corner, but underpowered. Purple Haze starts to pull out of the lead. Andy Salerno looking strong, moving to round number two with the Purple Haze truck. Indominus, the number five qualifier, and the number 28, Wild Hair. Parrish in trouble, charging back. Pause in trouble, whoa, it was close at the finish line, but the dinosaur comes charging back from the dead for the victory, an incredible race. Atomic Orange and Max D. Rhodes, last time out, he was the number one qualifier and went down in round one, not this time. He moves on to round number two, gets his first victory. Can he carry the momentum through the bracket? Under power and gunslinger. Watch the lights. Spurlock versus Salerno. Salerno in the far lane, Spurlock in the near lane. I think Spurlock missed the first obstacle. It's tough to get power down on this loose track and I think it will cost him but Salerno beats him to the finish line first anyway. Drivers ready. Taurus, the number seven. The Jeremy Mark and Mad Dog. Troy Haas. Haas with some issues over that first obstacle. I tell you, these guys are having a hard time getting the power down with these all-out brushless pro mods. All that power and you can't put it to the ground. Irreparable damage. We saw him take bracket one. Isaac Ankrum 
the number 10 qualifier and the number 23 qualifier four wheel crazy neck and neck Cheech has a little bit of a lead with four wheel crazy but oh 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 irreparable damage with a penalty at the finish line missing that final obstacle hands the win to a charging four wheel crazy Boogie Van, Fred Kors, and Aaron James, Hellion, and Hellion having all kinds of problems. Hung up on the Jersey Barrier turn marker, and Fred Kurz in the Boogie Van takes the win in round number one over the number three qualifier. Incredible. Avenger Chris Lane and Ballistic Orange Chris Blank. Problems for Blank over the first obstacle. It's like he lost power. And Lane looking smooth and steady in the far lane just like he did the last time out if he joined us. Careless Whisper, the number six qualifier and Crash Test Dummy, the number 27 qualifier. Mike Bufka versus Keith Boat, waiting for the lights. Oh, Bufka right on the light. Boat taking a little nap as the crash chest dummy was late off of the light. That's all it takes as Bufka with the careless whisper takes the win. John Arnold, a rare sighting, hitting the track in the ripper, facing off against Chris Lane and Stomper, and he's ahead of the Ripper. Arnold has some work to do. Stomper, smooth and steady around the track, getting it done. He moves to round number two, as we do as well. Our first pair out will be the number one qualifier, Chris Parrish in the LMT Equalizer, and Goblin, driven by Chris Hackinson. Neck and neck, but a bad entry to the final corner for Parrish, and that's all it takes. Neck and neck, these guys were throwing it down, and Goblin gets the victory with a great pass down the track. As Mr. Holmes Power, Mike Bufka, and Grave Digger, the Warpath chassis, Josh Rhodes truck in the near lane. Neck and neck, Rhodes hits a jersey barrier, and can't get it done from there as Holmes Power holds him on his hip by a truck length. Fallout 2, the number four qualifier in Purple Haze, the number 20 qualifier, Hackinson versus Salerno. Hackinson off to the lead, Salerno was in it, but a tough jump over the first obstacle in the far lane. What in the world just happened? He looked to be down and out, and incredibly, Purple Haze charges all the way back to the victory. This could be a battle. Indominus and Max D, Josh Rhodes. Parrish versus Rhodes, always an incredible matchup. Rhodes charging, Parrish in the lead. The Dinosaur gets it done with Indominus. And number five qualifier moves on. Fast pace action here in Pro Mod competition. Sudden impact number two once again. And number 15, Andy, Andy Salerno in underpowered. But the number two in trouble as Salerno gets it done again, making some miracles today, and moving some rounds. Four wheel crazy, Cheech on the line and Jeremy marked in Taurus. Mark off to the lead, Cheech still in it in the four wheel crazy. Oh, a tough landing at the finish line, but Taurus, smooth sailing all the way around the track and making it look pretty good out there. He could be tough. As Boogie Van, Fred Torres, and Avenger Chris Lane are on the line. Lane a little bit wide, but it didn't cost him in the corner. Lane doing it once again, just marching quietly through the bracket. A very quiet guy, and he'll sneak up on you if you let him. Stomper, Chris Lane, he's right back up on the line and careless whisper, Mike Bufka. Oh, Lane in trouble, misses the first obstacle in the second 
straightaway, and that's going to cost him as that is a two-second penalty and gives the win to Mike Bufka in careless whisper. Straight on to round number three. Bufka right back up on the line with Mr. Holmes Power this time facing off against Goblin. Chris Hackinson. Somebody with some crunchy gears. I think it's Holmes Power with some gears sounding a little rough, but Goblin in more trouble as Holmes Power is still getting it done and taking that victory as he moves to the semifinal round. A great day so far for Bufka and his team of trucks. Purple Haze, Andy Salerno, and Indominus. A little bit of a wheelie for Indominus in the near lane. Parrish off in the lead. Salerno charging, Indominus over the center line. They've called impediment on Indominus, handing the win to Andy Salerno and Purple Haze. The bottom side of round number three's bracket, Torres and Salerno once again facing off with under power this time. Looks like mechanical issues for Torres in the far lane. Not a clean run, but Salerno with underpowered moves to the semifinals. Yeah, they might have funny. Okay. Our final pair in round three, Careless Whisper, Mike Bufka, and Avenger, Chris Lane. Oh, Lane issues getting into the first corner. He's gonna have to charge now, but that commonly needs, leads to mistakes, and it does here as Bufka and the Careless Whisper moves to the semifinals. Bufka looking strong with those big, heavy, all-custom tube frame chassis, custom metal housings. This truck, these trucks are custom from the ground up heavier than some of the rest, but they are handling well today as Salerno in the near lane is in all kinds of trouble, and Mr. Holmes Power is moving to the finals. The number nine qualifier over the number 20. Bufka and Brass Ring Fab would like to take the Careless Whisper truck to the finals as well, as it's an all Bufka Salerno semifinals in both pairs. A great day for both trucks. Salerno in trouble, and all Bufka has to do is finish this race, and he's got both trucks in the finals. Brass Ring Fab looking fabulous out there. As we said, it's an all Brass Ring Fabrication finals as Bufka has both of his trucks in the finals. He's hired in the substitute driver, John Arnold, to drive Mr. Holmes Power, and they're going to race it good old school style. No team orders here, they're going at it. Neck and neck down the final straightaway. It was a good race. We take a look at the replay. Buffkin in the far lane with Careless Whisper in the lead down the back straightaway. But Arnold closes the gap over the tabletop, gets the power down, barely hits the ramp, crosses over the lane but didn't impede the other driver and Mr. Holmes power takes bracket number two of the 2024 event number three giving the overall for the day through two brackets to Mr. Holmes power a great day for Bufka as we take a look at the season point standings with four brackets of action remaining in pro mod Make sure you join us. We've got more 2024 action coming at you. It looks like it's going to be exciting all the way down to the wire. We appreciate you joining us, and we'll catch you next time.